Today, 10 people drown across the country, many of them young children who've wandered unattended into pools. Well, on Long Island, Nassau County officials stress the mandatory safety measures pool owners must now take. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor has the story from the town of Hempstead. Looking like Superboy, and with the help of his mom, this toddler delighted in learning how to swim. With pool season upon us and many more children headed for water, Hempstead Town officials sounded an alarm today. Under law, all homeowner swimming pools in the unincorporated areas of the town must have an alarm capable of detecting a child entering the water. Town officials demonstrated how any motion will set off the alarm, alerting pool owners that someone is in the water. Local resident Richard LeBlanc says he just finished making sure his pool complies now that his four year old granddaughter Amelia has learned how to swim. I got my pool from ready to put the alarm in and also a barrier alarm on my, on my rear door. It's not cheap. A lock on the gate? No, it wasn't cheap. Though. Disappear. Most towns now require the pool alarms must sound their warning beginning at 85 decibels. Pool owners must also enclose the pool in at least a five foot non climbable fence, and the property must have a self closing and self latching gate with a lock. In Hempstead, pool managers train thousands of kids how to swim each year, starting as young as five years old. We want to make sure that the kids are able to, to float, tread water, save themselves in case of an emergency. You don't run, right? And you always stay with an adult. Hannah Nevitz is a nanny for two young girls. She says all the safety measures in the world won't help if you're not paying attention to who is in the water. You got to always make sure you have your eye on them. You can't ever let it be something where you can be in earshot only. You got to see them. Perhaps the best advice for making sure everyone stays safely afloat. In Hempstead, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.